Hello and welcome to episode 5, I think it is, on the Lost Aerodon server. Um, oh, wait, you, you haven't seen this yet, um, so I'll explain what that is. Um, first off, yeah, the base is going to look slightly different from now on, even though I haven't really changed much. Um, the texture pack has changed, oh gosh, 14 entities that I've only just logged on. Yeah, um, the only thing I've really added since I last recorded was this, which is a really, I'm going to say it now, really, really, really inefficient um, cobble generator, and I wish I'd come up with something more efficient. Oh, wait, I have Skyblock. More on that later. But yeah, um, since the last episode, I've uh, created this, um, which is... As I say, stupidly inefficient. As in, it's based on classic um, designs where the, it's relying on the lava moving into the water. Which I've since discovered really is not the best tactic. Oh well. So yeah, this is how much cobblestone I've currently got. Uh, also over here I've created a chest just for stone bricks. That's because originally I wanted to make... Hang on. Uh, plot me home to, I wanted to make uh, this base, um, which has, hang on, um, how much does it have, a lot of stone brick basically, 1,000 and, and 1,971 stone brick, so fat, and that's 30.79687 yeah that's a lot of a lot of stone brick um, so slash home home because I've got two homes on the server I'll explain why maybe I'll think about it so basically all of this and about half of this basically more than we can afford at the moment um, anyway uh, as you guys might be aware of. It's been quite a while um, since well, since I was last um, recording on the server and honestly it's been a while since I last um, came on the server so quite a, quite a lot has actually happened um, so I'm just going to have a look around see what ha was ha what ha there what, what words what has happened and oh, blimey, I've forgotten about this. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh my God! I'd completely forgotten about this. Hang on. Um, I don't know whether you guys have seen this or not. Um, actually, no, I don't think you guys have. Uh, um, Will, who... Oh god, zombie. Yeah, Will, someone who helped me bring a lot of... Well, the horses back um, in the previous episode. Decided to build this in my place. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hang on. What on earth has happened to... Oh, hang on. I've got to put B-Dubs back on because I... Don't really like default. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> yeah. Will um, built this. Um, I think he started off in a create on the creative world actually, um, just to plan it out. And yeah, <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about this. And there's also this um, this sign here that had been built uh, saying "Hi, James." Now. Actually, this does look a bit better in default because it hasn't got the randomised textures. And then over here, I seem to remember building... Oh yeah, that's right, starting to build for the train station because I wanted to hook back up with the original path. I think that's the plan. Anyway, um, I'll probably end up still doing that but completely off camera because I don't want it to end up like Mumbo Jumbo Hermitcraft 4. No, three when um, 
when he made the Great Whale Rail because yeah, I enjoyed those episodes, but I know quite a few people hated them. Uh, and it, it just end up being like that again. Um, so I'm not going to do all that on camera. That's just going to be a project I do off camera in my spare time. Oh look, a chicken. No chicken. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, what to actually do now? I might have just killed off the only chicken in my area. Hang on. So yeah, I've got these um, three horses here that I own all three. I've got this mini wheat farm here which I really need to harvest. Um, get this pig out of. Yeah, I'm really nice to animals in games. Do, do, do. There we go. Right, um, we need to find a place for my beacon as well. Oh yeah, uh, Will also gave me a beacon. <laughs> in fact, that's what I'm going to do. Um, that's the first thing I'm going to do uh, today. I'm going to get that beacon set up. I'm just looking at um, the entity count. That's 30 entities down there. I think I might have run into a spider spawner, actually. Sounds like it. Okay, what the hell? Why am I being placed in creative mode? This... hang on. Spawn. Slash home. Home. What? What? Hang on. That was really weird. Huh. Is it me or can you hear lava? I'm not even that far down. Well, this is a level that I'm, I need to build the, um, oh god, the beacon on. Uh, so the beacon will be on the surface there. That lava is really is starting to worry me, and I've got no idea where it's coming from. Okay, I believe this is the size of the hole that I need. Um, hang on, family tiers one, two, three, four. Yep, that's four tiers. So it's the size of the hole I need. I'm just gonna grab these so first because, well, coal's always useful. Oh my god, how much coal is there? And there's iron, which is always useful. Oh wait, I knew about the iron as well. Ah. Hang on. Uh, just get that uh, last piece. I'm never going to use this diorite, so let's just fill this in with the diorite. Okay, sorry about background noise. I can, well, at least I can hear my sister. Or assuming it's my sister hoovering. Um, I don't know whether you can actually. Anyway, um, this is the side of the beacon, I think. Hang on. Uh, this is the centre. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is four tiers. Oh my god, I didn't realise just how huge this was. I am really thankful that Will gave me so much high. I mean... Blimey, if he hadn't have given me these iron blocks, I don't think I'd ever be able to afford this. And it's getting dark. Huh, I've only placed down one stack. And that's not even covered in the entire tier. Oh, that's got me really worried about the size of this thing. Oh god. Okay, so that's two tiers down, but this is the last stack of iron blocks I've got. Um, honestly, I do not know if I've... I have got enough. What's that splashing noise? Oh, it's that over there. Okay. Gosh, that hoovering's loud. Okay, and final block going in. There we go. Yes! Okay, so that's the entire beacon in. Uh, just replace this sand there to make it look neat. 
there. Ah, oh, that looks so cool. Honestly, that's the first beacon I've ever actually placed in survival. I don't generally mess around with that sort of thing. Right, I guess I shall, I don't know, probably end up getting some stone and seeing how much more of these chests I can fill. Just realised I've still got 11 iron blocks left. Uh, and a couple of the books as well. Blimey. Oh god, how many diamonds? Wait, what? Oh! Oh yeah! I've forgotten about that. I'm not going to spend diamonds on the beacon though. Right. Oh, in fact, I've got to decide what do I get on the beacon. I'm thinking maybe a haste. Make it a haste too. No, no, haste with regen. Awesome. And if I ever need to change it, does that cost me iron to change it? Oh, it does. Okay, so I've got to be careful about how often I change it. What was that? How's that? Is that a zombie in there? I hope it's in there. Yeah, sounds like it. Anyway, yeah. I've now got a beacon. Now it's, I don't actually know what the range is on this thing. I'm going to put re uh, regen health back on. What? Yeah, regen. Purely because I like having the ability to regen health. As in, quickly. Uh, in fact... Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I've got haste now, and... Why am I not getting haste? Okay. I'm not very good with this speaking thing. I've not messed around en uh, enough with them, really. So I've got no idea how they work. Um... Oh, hang on. Have I still got... I've still got the two donkeys over here. I forgot about them. They're not mine, though. No, that's uh, Manu's. And that's Courtney's. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to just see how much... Um, cobble I... I can get, in fact, I'm going to completely redesign this because, yeah, it looks cool-ish, but it's not really exactly functional. Okay, so I've removed the old generator. Uh, I may as well remove all these hoppers as well, because they're not going to be very useful. Um, I shall need hoppers along the side here, though. And the reason being for that is because this generator that I that I'm building is fairly fast. Uh, I'm also going to need to put a single piece of cobblestone right right there. Um, again, this to stop anything going wrong, really. So stick that there. Oh, hang on. Give me a minute, I'll be back. Okay, welcome back to my plot on the server. Good, that is cobblestone. Right, I'm just here to do, uh, make sure I know the cobble gen design that I'm thinking of. Um, oh, that's where beacons are. So, yeah. Um, okay, so this is the design. No. No? Is that not right? I know what I've done wrong. Never mind. Oh. It seems like the design doesn't work on 1.11.2. Oh. The, the, uh. 
It's the same design that I was going for on the Skyblock um, series. With the water running into lava instead of... Uh, I can't think of how to do it though. Um, I don't really can't think of how to do it. Oh, hang on. What's this? Okay, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Slash I set uh, grass. What? It'd help if I actually type set. Okay, um. Yeah, I'm gonna head back home. Slash home, home. I hate this thing. Okay, so we're currently at, um, oh god, what is it? 14 minutes, I think. Oh gosh. So, yeah. Oh wait, I've got one more thing I want to show you. Um, let me just bring it up. This website is, oh gosh, um, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Yeah, this website is a website which has, well, it says a thousand and one things to do in Minecraft. It, well, it, it's a work in progress from what I can get at. It is currently at um, 612, which is brilliant. It means that I can choose things from this list and do that as a project in the game. Now, this website is... Uh, random.org. I don't know whether you guys have heard of it before, but basically it's a website where you choose a number, uh, well, choose a minimum number, choose a maximum number, and it will randomly generate it. Uh, so hang on. What, uh, what's the maximum at the moment? So yeah, what I am currently doing is I am currently going, well, currently choosing a random number. So, uh, projects um, 369, oh, and that is, hang on, 369, almost set, oh, overshot. Massive partially functioning clock, you're gotta be kidding. No! I've got to try and work out how to build a massive partially functioning clock on the server on the Lotheridon server without um, killing the server. That'll be fun. Hang on, let's bring bring the server back. Uh, yeah. Great. It, it could be a while until um, I pull that off. As in a very, very, very long while. As in I cannot see myself doing it at all. Sort of long while. Anyway, yeah, um, we're what were we running out? About 16 minutes. I'm going to end the episode here because it's going to... Because it, otherwise it'll end up being another... Like the MBD episode. It will run over. Every time. Oh, there's a load of buckets in there I could have used. Ah oh well. I need more chest space. Oh gosh. Yeah, um anyway, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. Um so thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um if if so, tell me. Uh maybe uh, if you have any suggestions for the series, again, tell me in the uh, oh, what's it called? Comment section down below. Words are really not my strong point today, are they? Oops. No, we left. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Hopefully, you. Um, I'll come back and actually do another video on the Theridon. I don't know. Um, but, 
Uh, anyway, I'll uh, good goodbye, and I'll see you next time.